I'm Carolyn and today we're going to talk about adding those details to whatever outfit that we have chosen to go to our next formal event. So you found the outfit, whether it's a dress or a pantsuit or whatever it is you want to wear, now we're going to accessorize it. So they say the devil's in the details, not really sure why they use that expression, someone tell me. But I do know what it means. It means that the details are what make the outfit pop. And before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love, 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 love it if you would. We have this cool little group here for us mature ladies and we talk about all things related to us. So subscribe, hit the bell to be reminded, and now let's get started. So the last video I did, we were picking out an outfit to wear as a guest to a wedding, and then just a little some tips and tricks. So if you haven't seen that, you might wanna go watch that. I do have the dresses that I wore in that video, and I thought I would take those dresses and see if we can accessorize them. So this little black dress that I have, I actually didn't show it in that video, but everyone has one in their wardrobe. And it's just that easy thing to grab when you just don't know what you're gonna wear or you get invited to something last minute, you just grab your LBD and it's a done deal. So for this right here, for jewelry, I have put on these earrings. They're a lot, but if you just wear these, I think it's just a really nice statement piece. I have had these earrings a long time, so long that I have the matching necklace. So I would not wear, now, I guess there was a day where I did, because I have both of them. Um, I wouldn't wear the necklace and the earrings together. I would do one or the other. It's nice with the necklace, but then if I did, I would put something really small on my ears. Just pick one statement piece and go with that. So here we have this green dress. So it's a simple dress, it's sleeveless, so that gives you an opportunity to put some bracelets on. And it is open up here, and you can put something, but I would keep it on the simple side because the color is kind of the showcase in this. So I actually put it with just this gold chain necklace here, and then some gold bracelets. Easy peasy, that's it. So here is a dress that I ordered. I don't know how I ordered it because it could not be farther from a dress that I would ever, ever wear. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. It's short and short is not my jiggy. I mean, it's short. And because it opens kind of right here, um, I would be scared to walk in it, let's just put it that way. So as far as adding jewelry to a dress like this, where you have one sleeve and the other is open, I would actually leave the chest open, and then on this arm, I would add bracelets. Just to make things more symmetrical, I like balancing things out, and I think that would really be perfect on a dress like this. Okay, so now you have a dress that comes up high, and it's floral, so there's a lot going on. And I think that is the beauty of a dress like this. It also has this tie in the back, so even though the back is open, you have uh, this going on. So there's a lot going on here. I would wear no necklace, I would do simple, simple earrings, and I would put some bracelets. So here you have a dress. It's really simple. It has some details going on here. So this does give it a little busyness. So what I would do is I would do a necklace, but keep it pretty simple. I would do something a little more on the delicate side, something that maybe does drop down, but nothing too crazy. I wouldn't do a big statement piece at all. And again, just adding some bracelets on your arm just to give it a little je ne sais quoi. So here you have just a really beautiful classic dress. There's layers and layers and layers of just soft flowy fabric and this dress is so classy that I would 100% keep something 
very simple and if you have like fine jewelry and like this but um it is something that my husband's godmother gave me so many so many years ago when we first got married and um so something like that would go really nicely and then just some very simple delicate bracelets to go with it so this dress here I actually didn't show it in my last video because thought I had filmed it but I had not hit record <laughs> so <laughs> this one didn't show up in that video but I actually really like it again the color is kind of a statement on its own but because it's flowy and it has a lot of movement you could put any sort of something that would droop down a bit here but again kind of keeping it more on the simple I don't think I would do anything very bold coming down here but you could if you have something with a complementary color uh, you could do a really cool statement earring with this so because all these dresses you know I've picked them out for the summer um, none of them have sleeves so bracelets are always gonna look nice on this I think bangles and if you kept everything else simple and you did a bunch of bangles I think that would look really kind of cool so this is what this dress looks like on it's a really fun dress it goes up on the sides and then down in the middle I put more of a statement right here I should like it better without it on I think I would put absolutely nothing and just put you know maybe a lot of bangles or something really fun like that the downside that I think there is with this dress is you need to have a specific type of bra right now I'm just wearing a strapless bra I don't like wearing strapless bras because I find they always slip down especially if I'm hot if I'm dancing you know you can see the bra on the side I mean who walks around like this <laughs> except Carolyn on the dance floor let's move on to finding that perfect clutch I'll tell you what these two right here Tory Burch they're not overly expensive but you know they're good quality clutches if you have one in like a tan color and one in a black color they will work for every single outfit you need the size is always an issue for me but this one is such a great size so you want to you know in case your event starts outside you have your sunglasses you want to fit those in I have the giant phone you want to get the phone to go in there and then of course you need a lipstick I never powder when I leave but I know a lot of people powder so you want you know a little compact or something um, I guess maybe keys I'm never usually the one driving this is an amazing one this one is a little smaller but it's still pretty good you can fit you know a fair amount in there so if you just want to get two that are gonna work for anything I think this is great but a clutch can also be like a really fun statement piece so this one I found from cult Gaia when I saw it I didn't realize how super teensy weensy I mean once I get my phone in there and then it doesn't even really I can't I can't even get it to snap closed so it's tiny it's four hundred dollars three hundred and ninety eight dollars I don't think it's worth it so I checked on Amazon to see if I could find something like this I found this one on Amazon it comes in two different sizes a lot of different colors and it's only $31 I will have it listed in the description and always remember I list everything in the descriptions and because it's a metallic you know it's just gonna go with so many of the outfits looks really nice with that orange doesn't it and um, yeah and it would look nice with the green so getting anything that's metallic is like a really great choice so this one is not a cheap one but to be honest with you I have used this so much it is really cost per wear is really great it also comes with the strap so you can wear it over your shoulder and the size is pretty good so you know things to look for in a clutch would definitely be 
getting something that's big enough to carry what you need, do you know what you need, and try it out to make sure everything fits in there. So I also found this one. I found it at Nordstrom, and let me see. It's not super expensive, but it's not, it's $98. It's got a lot of room in there. It's got zippers, it's got places for cards. It's a great one. I love the little thick chain that comes with it and I just love the tweed. And the tweed has like metallic going through it. It's just so pretty. But take a simple dress like this. So you've kept the jewelry all real simple. You've kept the shoes, very classic. Throw on a little statement bag like this and boom, you've got your pop right there. This one also comes in a lot of different colors. If blue isn't what you want, they have a more neutral. They have, they have probably, I think, about five different colors. So this one, I wear a ton. I don't just wear it for special going out occasions. I wear it all the time to lunch or whatever. It's, it also has a strap that you can wear it like that and it's huge inside so you can fit you need just everything that you want to fit in there you're going to be able to fit in there so this one is super cute very sort of modern looking love it and it is exactly the color of this dress which i think looks really nice if you can find a perfect match like that i just think that looks really beautiful together and then something I always find is a problem is having something to cover up my arms. So if you're going to a wedding, you might want to have a little more modesty when you go to the church, so you may want to cover up your arms. Or if it's a wedding, again, they're long, they start during the day, they go all day long, and so you might start hot, and then if you go into air conditioning or the night gets cool, you want something to put over your arms. This dress, it came with a matching little jacket. If you can find a dress that does that, then that's great, but this is more a very fancy dress that you would do. I mean, honestly, this jacket costs a lot more than the dress even costs. So, I mean, that was for my son's wedding, but I think that's not something you're gonna find very often. You're not gonna find it with any of these regular dresses that I have here. I found a couple of shawls at Nordstrom. This one is 100% polyester, uh, but it's only like $40, $39, and the size is not bad. It has a little shimmer to it, and um, you know, you could easily you know, throw it over your arms. It'll give you, you know, the right amount of coverage and warmth that you might need. And if you like this dress, this really looks like a perfect match. Looks so nice together. So this would be perfect for this, but it's, it's a pretty neutral pink, so you could wear it with a lot of things. Like for something like this, because it has so many colors in it, just a pale pink would go nicely with this. And then the other one I found, this one is 100% silk. It was $79, so not super expensive, but it's kind of huge. So, I mean, I have it doubled, but you know, this is this is how big it is. <laughs> So you can, you can do, if you know how to do different wraps with it or whatever, you can do that. Um, I'm not good with that, so I would just sort of fold it in half and then just wear it over my shoulders that way. And because it's white, you, know, you can really wear it with, you know, any of these dresses. It would look, you know, really good with any of these dresses just because, you know, it's white. And then the other things I think about when going to a formal event are what to do with my hair. Oh, there's just so many beautiful ways to wear it up, you know, in a French twist or just something with some curls coming down. But I'll be 100% honest with you, I never do that. I almost 100% leave it down when I am going to a formal event because I just want it to be fuss free. I don't want to worry about pins sticking in my head and hurting or pieces falling out and needing them to go back in. 
I just want to be able to run a brush to my hair if need be. If we're outside and the wind is blowing, I can just come in and just, I don't even need a brush because I just, I just do one of those and it's, and it's all good. So I leave mine down, but there are just beautiful ways to do updos, half updos. So that is definitely a personal choice. And if you do do an updo, then you can do accessories with combs in your hair, but I would keep it again, really simple, either just gold or just silver or just maybe pearls, but very discreet. And then the last accessory that I can think of are your nails. So I like to keep them very neutral either like with OPI has Funny Bunny or Bubble Bath, which is just a really pale white, or um, Bubble Bath is that light, light pink, or just a very light pink of any color, I think looks really pretty and just goes with anything. And then the French manicure, I don't normally like it, but I think it looks really classy at a wedding. And it's not that I don't like it, not, I take that back. I think it looks beautiful. I think it's classy. It just is a little dating because we were all doing that 20 years ago. And I think if you see someone with a French manicure just on a day-to-day -day basis, they're probably gonna be about our age because that's what we were doing. And some of us just continue to do it because it is easy. It goes with everything. But I just got so sick of it that when I see it now, it's kind of like, oh, I'm sick of it. But at a wedding, I think it goes. I think it's just that classic, beautiful, clean look that looks amazing. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say for accessories. So if you guys have other cool ideas of how to accessorize when you're going to a formal event, leave that in the comments. I would love to learn and all of us can learn from your wisdom as well. And as far as today is concerned, I think we're done. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me here today. I love it when you guys come. If you give me a thumbs up, it literally makes my heart sing. So thank you again for being here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.